Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Brittany here, AKA Empowered Para. And on this video, I'm gonna give you guys a look at my wheelchair friendly travel trailer. And in a three part mini series, show you how I get in the trailer, how I manage to use a tiny trailer bathroom and how I manage at night. In part one of this series, I'm going to show you guys how I get into my trailer using the lift that I have. Um, but before I do that, I'm just going to give you a, a little tour of the trailer so you kind of have an idea what my trailer looks like. Um, and then I'll show you the lift that I use to get in. Okay, so this is the inside of the trailer. The door is at the back end of the trailer. There is the kitchen at the very back and there is one big slide right where that couch is and the closets are on either side. The slide is the whole length of that. So uh, when the slide is out, I have enough room to get all the way from the front of the trailer to the back of the trailer in my wheelchair. And on either end, there's a little bit of a wider spot where I can turn completely around with my wheelchair. The bed at the end is actually a Murphy bed and it folds up and hooks to the wall so that area is completely empty. It was actually a, t a small toy hauler. Uh, as you can see, uh, the bathroom is a standard trailer bathroom with very little room in it. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how I maneuver in there in part two of this mini series. Um, the table and the couch both convert to beds, which is really great. We bought our trailer about eight years ago and it, it did not have a lift when we bought it. Um, and my husband always had to help me in, which was super annoying because it left me totally dependent on him. I would have to be either outside of the trailer or in the trailer if I was doing something and he couldn't go anywhere. Otherwise I would be either stuck outside or stuck inside, which really stung. Um, and so a, a couple of years ago, I got really sick of that and started looking around for what we could use for a lift on the trailer. I hadn't seen any lifts that were marketed specifically for trailers. Uh, and so I wasn't sure what was out there. I went on Kijiji. I found an ad for um, a trailer lift and it didn't have any pictures of it at all, except for the remote and the remote had the brand name on it. So I Googled that and the remote said Braun UVL. When I looked it up on the internet, I found out that it was a Braun under vehicle lift which is a lift that normally mounts underneath a van uh, and is used to get people in a, a van or a bus or something like that. So um, I was really excited about it because it looked exactly like what we would need for the trailer. Uh, and when we went and looked at it, the battery wouldn't work when the guy was showing it to us. So we couldn't see what it was like. It was just in this casing, which looked like a little drawer, like a metal drawer. Um, and so we decided to buy it anyway. Um, the guy was asking $1,200 for it and my husband offered him 750, he took it. We got it home, hooked it up to a battery and it worked perfectly, I was so excited. And then when I Googled the retail price for the lift, I was even more excited because these lifts retail for more than $10,000. You heard that right, $10,000. And I got it for $750 and it was basically in main condition. So um, this lift works perfectly for my trailer and I'm gonna show you guys how it works. I know it's super expensive, but I highly recommend that you um, look on Kijiji or try and find a used one because it works perfectly for a trailer. So I'm gonna show you guys how it works right now. As you can see, the lift is mounted to the underside of the trailer. It comes in a metal casing that bolts to the underside of whatever it is you're putting it under, in this case, my trailer. It has a remote that allows it to come out of the casing, go up and down and back into the casing for storage. It is hooked to a 12 volt battery, which my husband just wired into the trailer and put under the storage benches under the, by the kitchen table. It has two side railings for safety. Uh, we just took the other one off because I didn't need it. The remote, my husband just made a hole in the, in the wall so that it could mount on the actual side railing for easy access. 
it's hydraulic and it goes up. It's kind of noisy going up. I go up so far so that I can open the door and then I open the door all the way because the lift actually gets in the way of the door if we lift it up too high and it can bend the door. So I have to open the door all the way. And then I turn around inside the trailer and put it far enough down so that I can swing the door closed. And that's it. That's, that's how I get in the trailer. There you go guys. That's how I get in my wheelchair friendly holiday trailer. This was part one in a three part series. I will post links to part two and three in the YouTube card and in the description below. I will also post links to the wheelchair lift manufacturer so that you guys can look that up if you're interested. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please leave me a comment. Thanks for watching and I will catch you on part two.